In the past, I have attempted to teach both Gio and Romeo how to hold things in their mouths, and I have failed miserably. They will retrieve, and they will put it in my hand, but I can't get them to hold it. This year, I'm going to change that. We've started working on a hold um, two days ago, and both dogs are actually making really good progress. Prior to um, teaching a hold, I would get frustrated and resort to just hanging things on their nose because that's what Sheltie noses are good for. This year I thought it would be a cute idea to have costumes for the dogs when they go on their therapy dog visits. So I went to the local dollar store and I picked up a couple of kids costumes, one an angel and one a devil because that suits the boys so perfectly. Geo is the angel. Um, I want them to be able to hold the wand or in Romeo's case, the little pitchfork, um, and hopefully within the next week or so learn to carry it with them so they can at least carry it into the room of the person that they're visiting. So I started, Romeo back up please, um, just asking for a target and click treat whenever they nose touch. Oh please drop it. You gotta back up in the camera the baby. Touch. And with these guys, I found more luck in getting them to use their mouth if I'm throwing something for them to retrieve. I can get them to bring just about anything that I drop, but to take something willingly into their mouth is a challenge. So I started, um, trying not to make people nauseous with the camera. There we go. DJ. And I chuck it and ask, bring it here. Bring it here. Go get it. Yeah. Bring it here. Go get it. Bring it. Yes, thank you. So there he'll actually put it in his mouth and get the idea that it can go in his mouth. So we repeated that a lot. And then finally got to the point where I can get him worked up and he'll put it in his mouth. Ready? You gonna get it? Ready? Ready? Gigi, take it. Take it. Hold. And I tell him to hold and just put a hand under his mouth until he stops mouthing it. Hold. Hold. Good boy. So it just starts for uh, with him holding it for a second or two. You gotta back up. Camera has to see you. You gotta back up. Stay there. Take it. Ginger. Not my. Take it. Nope. Not that end. Here. Take it. Take it. Take it. Yes. Hold. Hold. Good boy. And I only click treat when he's not mouthing it, so doing the crazy tongue thing. Geo has actually come along really well. Like I said, we just started this yesterday, and this is our third session, I guess, in the course of two days. Try again. Take it. Take it. Hold. Hold. Good boy. Hold. Take it. Take it. Hold. Hold. Good job. So I want him to hold it until I take it from his mouth. Or he brings it to me would be the ultimate goal. Uh, he hasn't quite figured out that he can move while holding it. So that's just going to be literally one step at a time. That... Um, if I can get him to take one step with the wand in his mouth, then I'll click and treat for that until he figures out that yes, he can walk and hold it at the same time. Ready? Take it. Teacher. Wrong end, dude. Here. Take it. Hold. Hold. Oopsies. Quit. Hold. Good man. Very nicely done. Give. Good boy. Nice job. And what I'm hoping this will do is transfer over to other things, because I love taking pictures. I blog with these dogs. So I always take pictures for different events. We did an Easter picture where I had an Easter basket, basically just balancing on Geo's nose because I couldn't get him to hold the thing. 
um, hopefully this will transfer over to something like a treat bucket. And he is picking this up pretty quick. I would love for him to be able to carry the treat bucket through the halls at his nursing home where he goes to do his therapy dog visits. But I don't know if we're going to get there this year. Maybe for Christmas. Ready, Deej? You take it. <gasps> take it. Good boy. Hold. Hold. Almost, baby. You gotta hold a bit longer. Ready? Get back up. Good. Take it. <gasps> take it. Hold. 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 Oh, almost. I almost did it that time. Ready? Try it again. I know you can do it. Back it up a little bit. Take it. Take it. Take it. Hold. Hold. Good boy. So he's getting the whole hold situation. Um, the walking while holding might take a little bit of time. <laughs> Ready? Go do it again. Ready? Back it up a little bit. Take Take it. Take it. Hold. Almost. Take it. Take it. Hold. Oops, please don't turn the camera. I'll turn the dog. There we go. Ah, uh, almost. Hold. Very nicely done, good boy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can you try it again? Back up. I wish I could zoom out more with this camera. Ready? Take it. Take it. Take it. You don't want me to be silly. Pack it up. Take it. Take it. Hold. Good man. Very nice. Hold. Very nice. Hold. Good job. Nicely done. Nicely done. So it is day three-ish now, and um, Gio has the take and hold pretty good. We're now going to work on trying to get him to walk while holding it, because apparently hold only works if you're standing still. So what I'm trying to do, <coughs> he already knows give means to put something in my hand. So I'm hoping that if I ask him to give me the wand, that... I can then add distance between him and myself, and he'll walk with it in order to give it to me. We'll see how this works. Take. Take. Hold. Give. Good boy! Little tiny step! We'll take a little tiny step. Okay, you gotta back up. Back, back. Wait. Take. Hold. Give. Good boy! Well done! That's going to work well, isn't it? Take. Hold. Give. Good boy! Well done! Back it up. Back it up more. Wait. Take. Take. Hold. Give. Give. Give it here. I don't want your paw. Thank you. Good boy. So I'm just going to keep moving him back and see how far he'll actually walk with it. Back up. Back up. Wait. Take. Take. Hold. Give. Yes! Good boy! So that wasn't a perfect give because I had to reach for it. But the fact that he took a step while holding, heck, I'll take that.